Where's the line between masterpiece and disaster? At air shows, it's measured in seconds and feet. In this episode, five real crashes filmed by the crowd and verified against official records. An F-16 Thunderbird bails out at the last instant. An extra 300 hits the ocean off Durban. An L-39 drops away at Davenport. A Pitts runs out of sky over Atlanta. And a Polish M346 ends in Gdynia. No myths, just timelines, intent, and the numbers that erase the margin. If you value evidence-first storytelling, hit like, and let's begin. Mountain Home Air Force Base, Idaho. The U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds perform when the Solo F-16C accelerates after takeoff and rolls inverted for a split S. The maneuver demands precise numbers. Height above ground, entry speed, G. On this day, the math was wrong. Planning used the field's elevation above mean sea level, not actual height above ground. Instead of the required 2,500 feet AGL, the jet entered with roughly 1,670. Realizing he could not recover without endangering spectators, the pilot pulled maximum aft stick, nudged slightly left to steer the flight path away from the crowd, and pulled the handle. He ejected at approximately 140 feet, less than a second before impact. The F-16 struck the ground and broke apart outside the crowd area. No one on the ground was hurt. The pilot sustained minor injuries. The aircraft was a total loss, valued near $20.4 million. The Accident Investigation Board concluded pilot error, a height calculation mistake, and an insufficient altitude buffer for the split S at this airfield. Airshow flying rewards precision and punishes small deviations. Here, an MSL versus AGL mix-up turned a textbook figure into a last instant escape. Durban, South Africa. Mid-afternoon along the Sun Coast North Beach shoreline, an aerobatic Extra 300 is finishing its routine for crowds lining the beach. Phones are already up when the aircraft banks, starts to descend, and then tightens into a corkscrew-like spiral. The sea rushes closer. There is no splashdown flare, just a hard entry into the water a short distance offshore. Witness videos show debris and spray. Lifeguards and event crews sprint to the surf within seconds. Rescue swimmers reach the impact point as boats converge. The National Sea Rescue Institute SAPS divers and paramedics establish a search area as the beach is cleared. Through the afternoon and evening, sections of the fuselage and a wheel are recovered. Officials identify the aircraft as an extra 300. Registration ZSAEC, flown by 61-year-old Andrew Blackwood Murray of Johannesburg, the sole occupant. South Africa's Accident and Incident Investigations Division opens an inquiry. No cause is stated. For the program linked to the NCAP Global Summit, the schedule halts, the crowd falls silent, and the ocean becomes a cordoned off scene. Air shows rely on precision and margins. Here, a few seconds over water drew that line with brutal clarity. Three L-39 Albatross jets from the Hopper's flight team set up for a crossover break away from the crowd. The lead climbs, the right wingman turns left, the left wing jet banks right to pass behind. What looks routine begins to unravel as the accident aircraft keeps descending through the turn. From the viewing line, the smoke system stays on, the nose continues to settle, and there's no visible arrest of the sink. A few seconds later, the L-39 impacts an open field beyond the airport perimeter and ignites. No one on the ground is injured. The aircraft is an L-39C performing a show routine under Part 91. The pilot, flying solo, does not survive. Wreckage examination accounts for all major components, and witness video confirms there was no contact with the other formation members. 
Investigators find no evidence of a pre-impact mechanical failure that would have prevented normal operation. The final determination is loss of control in flight for undetermined reasons, a reminder of how quickly a formation figure can compress margins to zero when altitude, attitude, and timing slip out of sync. At Atlanta's Good Neighbor Day Air Show, a Blue Pits biplane finishes a low, high-energy pass and climbs with a second aircraft to set up a half Cuban 8. The plan is simple. Roll upright on a 45-degree downline and meet at show center for another opposing pass. But as the Pits goes over the top, it adds an extra roll, sliding off the intended line. A hard crosswind pushes the geometry even farther off track. From the crowd line, the wings begin to seesaw left, then right, while the nose keeps dropping. The partner airplane levels on the show line. The pits is still high and displaced to the right, descending through a steep bank. There is no useful altitude left. The biplane levels briefly, strikes the grass infield between the parallel runways, and bursts into fire. No spectators are hurt. The pilot, 50-year-old airshow performer Greg Connell, does not survive. Investigators later find no mechanical failures. The conclusion is stark. An out-of-position setup compounded by gusty crosswinds, and the maneuver continued when there was no longer room to fix it, turning a precise duet into a fatal solo. At Gdynia Kosakavo, rehearsals are underway for the Naval Aviation Brigade's 30th anniversary. The Polish Air Force's M346 Bielik demo jet turns back toward the field, descending in front of the crowd areas that ring the airport perimeter. Eyewitness phones follow as the slope steepens. There's no flare to level off, just a hard impact with the runway and a sudden fireball. Rescue crews sprint from the infield and foam carts roll, but the scene is already final. The pilot is Major Robert Killer Yell, an experienced military aviator from the M346 demo team. He is the sole occupant and does not survive. The program is halted, the following day's public show is canceled, and the fleet is paused while investigators secure the wreckage and recover data. There is no official cause yet. What is certain is the unforgiving geometry of low-level display flying. Energy, attitude, and altitude must line up with almost no slack. In Gdynia, a few seconds on a descending line left no margin at all, turning a rehearsal into a national loss. Air shows celebrate precision, and these cases show how unforgiving the margins are. If you learned something today, help this project grow. Like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend. If you spotted a detail we should revisit, Add it with a credible source. I'll verify and update. Which incident should we break down next? Your suggestions drive the next episode. Respect to the pilots, crews, and families affected.